thanks everybody for hanging out till the bitter end of keynotes this morning. Um, I did want to thank you all for coming to Summit again. Having you all here means a lot to me and, and really being able to spend time with the community and our contributors, our committers, and our members is, is a really important time for, for me and for the foundation. I want to share a few stats with you. We've had an amazing summit that had 144 keynotes, breakouts, and lightning talks. So thank each and every one of you for submitting, giving, and participating in those. We have 63 member companies, which we talked quite a bit about over the last couple of days, eight certified platforms, and we had 1,525 of you come to this event. On Wednesday, I showed a little bit about our velocity, and I want to really reiterate that. We are a high growth open source platform that spans 40 projects, and we've seen an increase in both pull requests and commits. And one of the numbers I want to highlight up here is that this doesn't all come from our committer base and our maintainer base. A lot of this comes from contributors and people like you that submit pull requests. And so I'm going to continue to ask for each and every one of you to be part of that and give back, either through pull requests for code or documentation or just participating in and amplifying and sharing the stories we've done here today, this week. We had two new certified platform providers join us this week, SUSE and then, of course, cloud.gov. We've got 63 members now with Alibaba Cloud joining as a gold member, which was a, a great announcement and makes me really, really excited about the rest of 2018. So thank you each and every one of the 63 members for being part of and continue to be part of the Cloud Foundry Foundation. So I have some news. Hackathon, thank you all for participating. It's super awesome. We've had some amazing projects come out of the hackathon. Last year, there was some great work on serverless, which I think has actually been an incubated project. Am I right? No, it should be. Chip saying no. But Team Blockhead is the winner. Congratulations to Team Blockhead. <laughs> Team Blockhead developed a Blockhead service broker, which I like that name. I feel like we should definitely work this one into the incubation projects. It's Ethereum blockchain that deploys smart contract applications on Cloud Foundry. And I feel like this is going somewhere. AI and ML have been a big conversation this week. But I don't think we've talked enough about blockchain up here. And I feel like we're, we're missing that term. Huge shout out to the team that did this uh, for the IBMers. <laughs> Jonathan, Sweta, Nima, and Morgan, thank you all for developing such an awesome one. Morgan, I see you in the middle. Thank you all for developing an awesome solution, and we're excited to see this, and I want to see more work on this. Also, this year, we were blessed to have Swarna join us and lead our community, and I want to reiterate that again. And one of the things Swarna has brought to us is uh, something that we were missing and we didn't spend enough time doing, which is thinking our community. And so we've created the Community Awards. And the Community Awards are nominated and voted on by our community and really reflects the people that are doing amazing work in our community. And so we're starting it off at this particular summit and it's going to come up at each and every one. But our first winners of the Champions Award are Greg Otto from Comcast and Dr. Nick from Stark and Wayne. Dr. Nick, I worked really, really hard for a joke and I couldn't come up with one, so thank you anyway. For those of you that know Dr. Nick, you know I should have had something in here, but I, I couldn't come up with anything. Uh, also, most valued contributors, and again, this is voted on and uh, nominated by our community, 
We have a lot of amazing contributors, close to 3,200 if you saw the number. But this year, we really wanted to pay, pay special recognition to Dr. Jules, Dr. Max, and Huey, who have really led the way in doing so much of the transformative work around Cloud Foundry and the code. And so we wanted to give a special shout out to each and every one of you. So that's for the community awards. And then the foundation wanted to recognize some of the work that's going on in our community as well. We wanted to give a special shout out and a, and a really big thank you to the GE Digital Security Team. The GE Digital Security Team has been super helpful in keeping our platform by, secure. They are the most active and responsible reporters of discovered vulnerabilities and continue to feed those back into the community and into the upstream. So we wanted to give a huge thank you to the GE Digital Security Team. And of course, I really need to thank our sponsors. Our sponsors are what make this possible. You're the ones that allow us to have this event. We are a, a very small nonprofit. I want to reiterate that a lot. We're a very small nonprofit, and we cannot put this event on without our sponsors. So a huge thank you to our platinum sponsors, Dynatrace, IBM Pivotal, and VMware but also our gold sponsors, AWS, Google, Microsoft, SAP, and SUSE. And then our silver sponsors and the rest of you that have really contributed so much of your time and effort to make this event happen. It doesn't happen without our sponsors and those of you that make it possible. Another thank you, and one that's near and dear to my heart, is Cognizant. Thank you, Cognizant, for sponsoring our diversity scholarship and allowing us to fund and bring other people and include other people in this event and in our community. So thank you, Cognizant. And finally, a couple of news items. Cloud Foundry in the news. We got a lot of pickup this week on the news. Uh, TechCrunch. Thank you, Frederick. I'm going to thank Frederick because he's sitting right up front. <laughs> but obviously, we got a lot of interest in both Alibaba joining, but also cloud.gov and uh, SUSE's announcements. And I'm, we're really excited to talk more about those. And we get really, we are really grateful when the press recognizes the momentum and the excitement and the enthusiasm in our community. Also, we were trending on Twitter. So thank all of you for tweeting, hashtag CF Summit. We were trending, and it was nice to see so much conversation and communication going on. And that's a huge thanks to all of you that are here at the event and participating and driving that effort. And I would be remiss if not thanking all of our ambassadors, those people with um, the nice red ribbons on, you have been such an instrumental part in this event. You've answered questions. You've participated in events. You've led conversations. And you continue to be an active and engaged member of our community. And for, without you, this event would be really impossible to do. So thank you all to the ambassadors. And finally, thank you to the team at Cloud Foundry Foundation. This event is put on by a very small number of people who work really, really hard all week to make sure that you're having a good time, that we have good content, and that we have food, and then most importantly, we have coffee. So thank you all for making this event possible and successful. And finally, if you're wondering, when can I go to Summit after today? What am I going to do with my time? Well, you can join us in Basel, Switzerland in October and do this all over again. We'll be back in Basel for the second time. We're really excited to be back there. Um, if you haven't been to Basel, this is a good excuse to go visit Basel. And then today, I want to remind everyone, we have an amazing set of content sessions and tracks going on today. Find a track, find a session, 
and learn a little bit more about Cloud Foundry. And lunchtime, 12.20 today, we have the diversity luncheon where we'll be screening the Chasing Grace Project, which is a documentary that's put on by Jennifer Cloer. She's going to be here, we're gonna screen it, and then we're gonna to talk to her a little bit about the efforts behind this documentary. And this is her first in a series, it's 80-20, addressing the gender pay gap. So if you can make it, please come by, have lunch, and join us for some conversation. And with that, I will see you all in Basel. Thank you.